you know, I really try to treat my employees um, really well and show them that I appreciate them and pay them, you know, well enough that they'll stay with me, you know, and they'll stick around. And um, I feel like a lot of, I mean, I've heard about a lot of other directors who aren't like that and they go through new people all the time. Yeah. And I'm just like that just, you know, and then it's never, it's just always chaotic because people don't know exactly what's going on and you lose that flow. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just think that that's so important. And I don't have that flow right now because he's out of town and it's like but they making still, me kind of nuts. But they still like working for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They for do. Sure. You're just, your environment is completely different. Like yeah. The guys that, the sets that you see, PAs come and go and lighting guys come and go. Yeah. You know that set's going to be a little more stressful for everybody that yes. day. The talent, the crew, everybody. Exactly. So, I mean, your days are way more fucking pleasant. I just want to work. Yeah, I usually like shoot with the same people all the time because I'm very picky about who I have on set too. Yeah. Like down to my makeup. You know, I want to feel a good vibe from everybody and feel that everybody's a part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, otherwise it's just, it's way too much work and it's too stressful for me. Yeah. You know? And one little hiccup can throw off the whole day. Oh God. Somebody's like pissy attitude or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. off. Even as like makeup artists, for yeah. example. Oh, yeah. And you're like, oh, crap, you got to sit in the chair. And while she powders you, I get to listen to her ex-boyfriend's story or something. Like yeah. That, which is always a downer. No, they're <laughs> supposed to listen to your stories. Oh, I have the stupidest stories. I don't know. I don't <laughs> – I try not to share my stories because they're boring. You've always been pretty private, actually. Ah, I try to be a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I like yeah. don't know that much about your private life. It's quiet. It's pretty quiet. Mostly a lot of like family time. and yeah. But no, my – I mean, I think everybody knows about my recent breakup. Yeah. Everybody knows about Chad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be hard to date in the industry. It's got to be hard to date outside of the industry. I mean, it's do you find hard. dating dating's difficult, I it's, would imagine? Yeah, it's really, really tough. Yeah. It's easy to meet people. Yeah. But it's it takes a lot of work to filter them out. Yeah. And then you never know who's going to just snap after a year or go crazy. What do you find is usually like the biggest um, obstacle to your um, relationships? The the um, conflict with the business. Yeah. For sure. With, with the industry. Do they start off like kind of liking what you do and the fact that you're a and oh my god this is so cool I'm dating Nicole Aniston and then I don't date guys like that if they have that reaction I'm done I, yeah. I, it's just such a turn off for me if yeah. they're like yeah look at my girlfriend I mean I want them to be proud of me who I am as a woman and yes be proud of my sexuality and be and be supportive of your career be because they love of my you career, yes. as who you are yeah and, yeah, that, and they that want that you always, to do well that's always that way in the beginning yeah and because the guys that they're proud proud of the part I cut off but the guys that can tolerate it from the beginning if there's good comp- compatibility then I'll pursue it mm-hmm. but um it always gets to a certain point where they just they they read something or they see something or someone contacts them or they get their number leaked online or I mean it's it gets kind of out of control sometimes and there's a, it's a lot to deal with and a lot to tolerate yeah I have a lot of empathy for that and it, sometimes it just boils over but um, did they get harassed for being your boyfriend? Yeah. Wow. Sometimes that's crazy. So, so I can feel for that yeah. for sure. And at some point, it's just there's a breaking point. Yeah. For some of these guys, but um, I'm not really concerned about finding a partner mm-hmm. ever. And I think that might be a little bit of a trick too. Is mm-hmm. when you get somebody who is very sexually independent, mm-hmm. very stable emotionally, financially, all across the board, and who they don't need you, but they want you there. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of people I've dated have wanted to feel needed. Right. And they will never feel that from me. Yeah. I think it can be hard for a guy to deal with an incredibly independent woman because, yeah, they need to feel needed, they yeah. need to feel wanted, they need to feel like, you know, they have a, a bigger role in your life. And as, I mean, I've always felt that, you know, the best relationships are not necessarily ones where – you know, you need somebody to complete you, but you need, you know, somebody would be like an addition to your life that yeah. would enhance it, but not necessarily complete it because then that suggests that it's not whole on its own. Without that person. Right. Yeah, I agree. And I feel like that's a big deal breaker for a lot of guys. They want to feel, or it starts to eat at them if yeah. they feel like they're not that that puzzle piece Yeah, that fills your life and completes everything. Yeah. How do you handle like the negative um, feedback that you get on social media and stuff? Because just for, I mean, across the board for like a lot of girls, you know, like I will sometimes, you know, look at your Instagram or whoever's Instagram and just look at the comments and I'm just like, I cannot fucking believe what people say to you. I know. 
It's just insane. The most hilarious things I get are um, through Instagram direct, mm -hmm. <clears throat> direct message. Like if they send me a direct quest, mm -hmm. it's you, it, it's, I think I get more, I am more offended by someone's child sending me a photo that I don't really want to see, which I get that. You do. I obviously don't, I don't click to on the view, the image. I just, I block minors obviously mm -hmm. across the board, whether it's a safe for work website or not. Mm hmm your child doesn't need to be contacting me. No. I'm an adult and I'm in an adult profession. Yeah, your child shouldn't even Absolutely know who you are. Absolutely out of, out, of, out of the question. So I, the, the comments and stuff, there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. That person does not have a good relationship with women in general. Yeah. And that person does not have a lot of self-security and self-satisfaction in themselves and their lives and maybe so their work at, or their you're self you're good at considering the source. You just have to. Yeah. After a while, you can't keep getting mad and responding sometimes i'll respond and anytime i respond it's with something smart ass or mm -hmm. or something that is a comeback that's fair you know not like fuck you you yeah. know with it would be like like a fuck you but with facts and yeah and state state like a statement that can can be like a fair rebuttal mm -hmm. and not just like a well you're stupid because mm -hmm. that doesn't do anything you're just feeding back into it it's so much easier just to block someone and delete their comment yeah because then it's gone yeah it, it was just some simple text that you saw for a moment and then mentally i let it go within two and a half seconds and i'm on with my day hey guys if you want to support my show then you should think about joining my patreon at my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.